big update. Yo, Sima, thanks again, sub to Lazard. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah, you were giving bits before you even give yourself a sub. That's actually really kind. What the fuck? Appreciate it. Okay. Overwatch 2 PvP Beta Week 2 Developer Blog. A renewed interest and excitement for the support role. Improved queue times. Improved stability for support heroes. Behind the scenes testing Moira and Mercy. And more th thoughts around historical shield breaker heroes are top of mind for our team as we reflect on the second week of PvP Beta. Whoa, that's huge. Okay, I, I'm, I'm so I'm hooked now. We've been closely monitoring the performance of the support role following last week's balance patch that saw improvements for Baptiste, adjustments for Ana, and the introduction of the montage worthy new passive ability for Zenyatta. Okay, they're self aware. As often as the case, we increase health for heroes. Zenyatta saw all around improvements in performance over the weekend. Even with a higher pick rate, we saw our resident Omnic Monk's win rate improve by 5%, putting him in a healthy, albeit strong position. Perhaps not as surprising, the additional 25 additional, uh, shield health resulted in a 7% reduction in his death rate, with a halo effect of a 10% improvement in his kill secured. Anecdotal feedback regarding his new passive snap kick indicates that the knockback is an effective way to line up kills more consistently, which is true. Uh, a decrease in the duration of Anna's biotic grenade netted in a slight 2% decrease in her win rate. However, the adjusted biotic rifle uptime ensured her overall healing output on an average remained fire. unchanged. Even with the adjustments, Anna picked or remains a popular pick with the usage rate staying the same. Uh, what the heck? My alerts are broken. Or oh, at least my things is. Ah, oh, shit, it broke. Hold on. Uh, Lazard, thanks to the sub. How dear are you? Thanks to the two and four months. Appreciate it. Well, that makes sense. Okay, there it is. Um, okay, sorry about that. I'm actually going to mute alerts for a second. Okay. I'm, I'm going to mute fire. alerts for like two seconds so I can finish this. Less than three. Jimbrelli, I think it's a prime for five months. Appreciate it. Um, Q times across the board have improved significantly since last week's patch. While cor correlation might not always equal causation, we're optimistic that support improvements have a lot to do with it. Following Thursday's updates, players on average experience 48% less time waiting for a match, gradually leveling off at a 20% improvement over the weekend for both damage and support players. Beta queue times are now faster than the 6v6 live service without sacrificing match fairness or quality measure. So they, so basically they, this means that the fa their games are going faster without having to change the way the hidden MMR works. So you're not having GMs versus like golds. Uh, while these per uh, positive indicators from last week's patch are great to see, we still have a lot of work to do. We compared the death rate for each hero in the role compared to their counterparts in the live game and identified a trend where both support and tank heroes are dying more frequently on average in the beta. Diva and Arisa ex expand this trend or explain this trend for tanks. Arisa has a completely new kit and play style, while Diva finds herself in unfamiliar territory as a solo tank. With players gradually ad adjusting their approach, we'll continue to monitor and tune individual heroes as needed. So are they saying that they realize that Arissa and D.Va are weak? Oh, newsflash, by the way. Uh, a lot of people, especially like lower rank players, have been saying like, what do you think about Arissa being OP? No, Arissa's not good. Um, I, I could do like a brief like tier list at some point, but Winston, number one. Ryan and Doomfist are probably tied for number two. Um, from then on, it's like, uh, Zarya, uh, it, Zarya, then me, like, Diva, Sigma, Hog, or actually Rissa, then Hog. Uh, I might be missing someone. I might be missing a tank in there somewhere. I feel like I missed someone, but off the top of my head, basically, Winston, Doom, Ryan are the best tanks right now. Um, okay. Well, as low difference at low ranks, support heroes starting at high diamond and above saw the highest jump in return visits to the spawn. <laughs> what the fuck is this sentence? While there was a little difference at lower ranks, support heroes started I started at high diamond and above saw the highest jump in return visits to the spawn room. At these ranks, the increased pressure of more skilled tank or damage player on the backline has seemingly become too much for even high SR support players to handle effectively as compared to the live game. The most significant difference was at, at Grandmaster, where the support role saw an increase of 15% in frequency of deaths compared to live. Yes, but that's not a terrible thing, because supports are the most focused. Please, I beg you, do not make support as strong as it is in Overwatch 1. 
for the high level role and trying to like balance them out because a support in Overwatch 1 survived for so long because they could hide behind shields and hide behind huge tank pools. It is imperative for positioning to be really, really strong with support players now because if your supports don't die, they carry fights. We know support players want additional tools and power, uh, more power to be more impactful in Overwatch 2. True. Um, and the role remains our highest adjustment priority as the beta continues. Philosophically, we're also mindful of the dangers of mobility creep and believe it is imperative that support heroes can survive and be powerful even without mobility tools. Cool. Heroes like Lucio and Moira are demonstrations of the effectiveness of mobility in Overwatch 2. We've seen early indicators of a playstyle shift in the support community to favoring mobility and stronger ability to either disengage completely or face down flankers one-on-one. -on -one. This was like alpha time though. It's more is not that good now. As we make balanced decisions on how or if to address that moving forward, we do so with a goal of ensuring that there is diversity in the design and abilities of the support role. And that effectiveness isn't determined solely by a hero's mobility potential. Uh, I think that's why Moira needs a re rework. I'm going to be real with you. Moira is, is either OP or dog shit. There's never a time where she's in the middle. Uh, we're planning another a balance patch this week that will inclu include specific commentary. They're explaining those changes, but we wanted to share some broader thoughts about heroes that have been in the subject of recent community discussion. Oh, so there's changes coming. Okay, huge. Moira, Dr. Dorian's versatile kit has been translated well in the emergent 5v5 meta. Moira continues to be a flexible pick with her self-heal and high mobility, proving effective at dealing a more consistent push by flankers. As a result, we haven't observed a meaningful change in the win rate between live and beta, meaning that Moira stayed relatively stable in comparison to other support heroes, but she's much weaker compared to the others. Like, Ana's just better. Bap is just better. Like, what? Conversely, we also hear your feedback that Moira's current stability doesn't mean she should remain unexamined. As you consider potential changes, we have a goal of providing her with increased utility that feels impactful and increases her potential as a playmaker while also tempering the damage and healing of Biotic Orb and Biotic Grasp and bringing her more in line with other supports. Okay, fair enough. Mercy, as a veteran Mercy player, as any veteran Mercy player will tell you, the potential of Mercy is not unlocked until you've learned the techniques that accompany her kit, particularly the super jump. While there are many guides and videos for those willing to learn the method, it ultimately requires a complex, complex, complicated sequence of keystrokes and conditions that are not accessible and apparent to the average player. Internally, we are started. We have started testing improvements to Mercy's verticality, leading into the unintended consequences of the player discovery. We want to take it a step further by making the ability to super jump more consistent for everyone, not just players who know the not so secret technique. Oh, Mercy's mobility has always been a core part of her kit and we'll continue to look that way as we accentuate it and make more accessible for everyone. Wait, so is this the end of Super Jump? I mean, like, okay, we'll, we'll have to see. Alongside Mora and Mercy, we want to acknowledge the growing conversation around Junkrat and Symmetra. Both heroes excelled as shield breakers and the shift to a single tank composition has made both heroes feel slightly out of place in the emerging meta. Junkrat continues to present Interesting design questions. We've considered increasing frag launchers projectile speed. However, we found that by doing so, we risk that making his signature weapon feel more like a rocket launcher. Instead, we're exploring ways to better reward direct hits as a form of skill expression. We agree that the community feedback is that the reduction of shields being thrown about the battlefield makes Symmetra's photon projector harder to get value from. At the same time, Symmetra is suffering from increased overlap from heroes like Mei, who possess better tools for close quarters survivability. While these heroes aren't, ex aren't our core or in focus, they're on our radar for future adjustments and continued monitoring. So it sounds like Junkrat might get some change, but they're like, yeah, we heard about Sim, but uh, she's actually not that bad. Which I actually think is a decent take. I actually think that I, it, it sucks that Sim's left click isn't as useful, but like Sim is mostly like a rush hero now. So hard to say but uh it's kind of cool to see that they're very self-aware on a lot of these changes uh, i wonder how I, I am very curious to see how the mercy community will react to this uh, it's either going to be extreme out outrage or they're going to accept it i don't know we'll see but 
hey, they're being more communicative. W, you like to see it, even though, to be honest with you, I kind of want this beta to end so we can work towards the second one, because I'm kind of bored of ranked, so I, I said it. I know, it sucks, but the game feels so much better. I just wish I had ranked. Also, I just hit a key. What did I hit? F11? Oh, okay, here we go. So, that's my take on that.